It feels like everywhere I look, people are talking about types. If you're just getting started learning to code, you've probably heard of JavaScript, TypeScript, and Python. Well, they all have a different approach to how they type their variables. In this video, we're going to quickly break down the difference between static and dynamic typing and talk about how different languages use these different approaches. And at the end, I'll break down for you which approach I think is better. I teach a lot of Python code, so let's start with how Python approaches typing. Python is a dynamically typed language. So when you create a variable in Python, let's say x, and you set it to a value of, say, the number five, that variable x happens to store an integer type. But at any point in the program, we can change the type that x stores, right? We could change it to, say, the string five. Many scripting languages tend to be dynamically typed, right? Languages like Python, JavaScript, Ruby, and PHP. And the reason is when we don't have to specify types as we're writing our code, we're able to write the code a little more quickly. Now let's take a look at how Go, a statically typed language, approaches this same problem. So in Go, we might write something like, var for variable x is an integer we set it equal to five so this is a little more verbose but we're being explicit and we're saying this variable x is an integer now what happens if later in our program we type x equals the string five well what happens is our program completely breaks Go as a language or typescript or c plus plus or one of these statically typed languages does not allow us to change the type of a variable. Once the type has been set, we need to keep the values stored within that variable of that same type. So the question is, which approach is better? Well, if you had asked me 10 years ago, I may have said that there is a trade-off here, maybe a fairly balanced trade-off, and that the languages like Python, JavaScript, Ruby, and PHP, they chose this way of doing things because it's syntactically simpler, right? We don't have to type nearly as much to get our program up and running. So if we're just writing really small scripts, then this dynamic typing seems to be a huge adva advantage, right? We can move faster, we can write code faster. When you're working on larger systems though, the advice has always been static typing is better. And the reason being, it results in fewer bugs. There's basically never a case where you want to take a variable, say, player name and change it from say a string to an integer that that doesn't make sense you would just create a new variable so by having a set of tooling that doesn't allow you to accidentally change your types tends to result in less bugs and more readable code so the trade-off seems to be with dynamic typing we get to kind of write less code to do the same amount of work but that code can be more buggy and harder to read harder to maintain or we can write statically typed code, which is less prone to bugs, but takes a little longer to write. It's a little more verbose. Now, that trade-off used to be the case, but these days I'd argue that static typing is simply better. And that's because newer languages, languages like TypeScript and Go and Rust, they have a thing called type inference. And type inference basically gives us the best of both worlds. It allows us to have static typing, but with a very simple syntax. So for example, in Go, rather than using this verbose syntax here, I could just write x colon equals five. And by doing that, the computer knows that x is an integer. It can infer that type from its initial value. And then later, if I try to change x to the string five, Again, the same thing happens, that's not allowed. Older statically typed languages, things like uh, Java, C, C++, they didn't have type inference back in the day, and so this trade-off really did exist, right? But these days we can have the best of both worlds with type inference. So you might be wondering, if static typing is so great, why do you teach Python on boot.dev, right? Why don't you just teach the static languages if they're so much better? Even though Python is dynamically typed, it's still an amazing language. I love starting students on Python because it's easy to write and it's easy to learn all of the basic programming concepts in a language like Python. But Python isn't just a toy language for learning to code. It's used by thousands of companies in production and it remains one of the most popular programming languages out there. 
I use Python day to day for scripting on my local machine and doing little tasks that are kind of one off and simple. Toward the end of the backend developer career path on boot dev, I start teaching students Go. And one of the main reasons for that is Go is a statically typed language. It's easier to build large production, kind of robust backend systems in a language like Go. At least that's my opinion. But you can build large production backend systems in statically typed or dynamically typed languages. It's certainly been done both ways. Hopefully this video has helped you out in understanding the difference between statically and dynamically typed languages. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it.